Happy Sunday, everyone. This is a little side-by-side -side video comparing uh, two different models of the 4403 Swivomatic cymbal stand. Just wanted to kind of break down some of the differences. A lot of you already know these differences, some may not. Um, the one on the left is an early 60s version and the one on the right would be a later 60s version. There are uh, some models in between these, but I believe that the one on the right is probably the most common that you would see pop up and then the one on the left probably the least common I just want to break down a couple of the differences right off the bat you could see at the base it's pretty different obviously both swan leg stands but on the older version you see that the braces are quite a bit lower than they are on the newer version and then um, no wing screw at the top of the tripod to where the newer version does have the wing screw also notice that the top of the legs on the later version have these bends to where the original version is straight. Um, and if we go right to the U-clamps here, actually before that, if you look at the distance from the top of the tripod to the first U-clamp, it's a lot longer on the newer version than it is on the, the older version. And then the U-clamp, the older U-clamps will have the straight sides to where the newer ones will have the scallop side. On a slightly later stand than this, they did start to put a little backing nut in there. But I believe this is this is from right before they started to put the backing nut in there. And then if we go up to the center section here, it's probably the biggest difference. The older version will have this hex collet holding in the top section to where the newer version will have another another u-clamp this one being the scalloped version some of these versions will still have the straight sided u-clamp that would be one of the um one of the versions that i was speaking of that would be in between these and then we go up to the tilters where there's quite a bit of difference uh if you see side by side the depth of them is quite different the older version being shorter and have more shallow sections and if you look at the ball on the really old version the ball has no notch for the set screws to where the newer version has the notch for the set screws to bite this happens to be a really old version before the hex bottom um, an expert buddy of mine who i'm pretty much a student of uh, has a suspicion that there was a top section rod before this one that had a hex on it and i think he's right on with something so that this one would have sat right and there wouldn't have been this hex section but i don't think either of us have ever seen that but it's just a suspicion just because you know things have changed so much in these things over the years that that is quite a possibility and then obviously the more common tilter with the uh with the hex bottom that was made to fit right over this this hex section um, also on the tilter, on the older versions, you're going to see that the set screws sit on the side of the opening. So we're on the newer ones, the set screws are on the opposite side of the opening. Now another interesting thing, that when I visited Bobby over at Jollity Drum Farm, he hipped me to this that I was not aware of. And I'm a geek for details. And he said that you can tell the Rogers washer by this flat edge. You notice it has that little flat section right at the edge there. So that's how you could tell that your stand has the original washer. I think this one over here does not. So I could probably, oh wait, I think it does actually. No, it doesn't. So you could see that little flat section there where the other one does not have it. I hope it comes up on the on the camera I don't know so there's a couple differences for anyone who, who uh, was kind of looking at the pictures and was thinking hey that's it looks exactly like my stand well you, there are some differences there and um, if you have one that's more like this stand and doesn't have the hex collet but has the straight sided u-clamps you know that's a uh, that's something that you'll see as well it would you know would be something that would be right in between these two and there's a version after this one 
like I was saying, that'll have the little backing nut behind the U-clamps. Also the later version, or the final version of the 4403 Swivomatic cymbal stand had this type of tilter, which was permanently attached to the top rod. So many things were changing on these parts pretty quickly. Like a lot of these first generation stands with, um, with the wide base and the straight U-clamps and the hex nut will have uh, a tilter that many of you have that's more like this one, but short like that one. Like it'll have the hex acceptor on the bottom, but it'll have all of these shorter components and then also have the the set screws on the, on the side of the opening here so there's a lot of a lot of things changing um i hope you got some info out of that and if you have any questions i'll be i'll be glad to try to answer them um like i said i'm no i'm no expert i'm just an eternal student of the game and i geek out on this stuff man so enjoy your day guys thank you